In today's video, we'll be doing a full tutorial on Thinkific. We'll be taking you through the entire process from setting up your account with Thinkific to creating a full-blown and functioning online course that's ready to sell. We'll also be showing you how you can upload and organize your online content quickly, create surveys and assessments, customize the look of your online course, and everything in between that you need to do to get your online course up and running. Thinkific is the only online course platform to offer a completely free plan. And if you're new to online courses, online coaching programs, or membership sites, then I highly recommend that you go ahead with Thinkific's free plan. Even in the Thinkific's free plan, you're able to create your online course, you're able to create your website, and you're able to get things in place and not waste money and upgrade only when you need to do so. But for this tutorial, we'll be going through and building an entire online course business using Thinkific's free plan. Once you sign up for Thinkific, this is what your home page is going to look like. But the first thing that you want to do is make sure that your account information is correct. And to do so, you're going to head over to settings. And the first thing that you're going to want to do is update your site name. And your site name is just the name of your online course or your online business. And you also want to double check the email addresses you want to make sure that these are going to be the emails in which you use to communicate with your students. If you want to edit your website URL, then you can do so here. And all you would have to do is click right here and click edit URL. And from here, you'll be able to choose any URL that you would like to show up. And once you click save, your new URL will be live. And note, if you wanted to do a custom URL, you would need to upgrade to a higher package on Thinkific. And once you're finished with your site settings, you want to head over to learning content. And from here, you can change the course player theme. This is where you'll be able to customize your course player. So if you wanted to do a light theme or the dark theme, you can choose that here. And this is where you'll be able to change the primary color. So as you can see right now, that would be the primary color. So depending on your brand and depending on what colors uh, is in your palette, you would make the changes here. And you can always change the font right here as well. And you want to make sure that you're uploading your logo so that it shows up in your course player as well. And if you need to change the language of your website, you can also do that here. And once you're finished with your learning content, you want to start setting up your payment processor. And in order to do so, you want to head over to payments and you just want to link your Stripe and your PayPal account. And moving on to orders and accounts, this is where you'll be able to enable or disable Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn login. And what that simply means is, is on your checkout page, students will be able to log in or create an account through their Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn profiles. So if you want to have that feature, you can leave it in. If not, you can take it out. Also, this is where you can upload your privacy policy and your terms of use. And once you're finished making these changes, your account is now set up. And now you can move on to creating your first online course. And in order to do so, you want to head over to manage learning content. And under courses, we're going to click create new course. And you'll have the option to create a blank course from scratch. So if you wanted to do a pre-sell, a mini course, a flagship course, or a webinar replay or a membership resource library, then you can choose one of those templates. To speed up the process and make creating your online course as seamless as possible, we recommend going ahead with the flagship course template. In order to save a lot of time when uploading your course content, you want to head over to Bulk Importer you're going to want to put all of your course content into a folder and arrange them in the order in which they'll show up on your online course. So once you've created a folder, you're going to go over to that folder and select the videos in which you want to upload to your course. And once you upload the content for your online course, and just keep in mind that if your videos are long, they are going to take a little bit of time. But once it's uploaded 
or while the other videos are still uploading, you can start formulating your online course. And if you need to edit any of the titles or post, all you would have to do is click that title. So this is known as your chapter and under your chapter, this is your content or your post. And once you change the chapter, you would just go into your um, content and here you can make any changes that you need to. And since this is the first post, you may want to add an introduction or you may want to add some housekeeping rules, whatever is most relevant to your online course. And when customizing your post, you have a lot of options of things that you can do in your post. So if you wanted to add an image or you wanted to change the font or you wanted to add a video, you can always do so in this text editor. If you wanted to add an image, you would click the insert image. Uh, same thing if you wanted to add a video or even if you wanted to add an audio file, you can do so here. And if you scroll down under every lesson, you have a couple options in which you can choose from. And one of them is making this lesson a free preview. So if you have a paid course, but you want to leave a section or a lesson to be free to preview, then once you click this option, that lesson will be free. Also, if you wanted to enable discussions or comments, you would enable it here. And also, if you wanted to completely delete the lesson, you can do so by clicking delete. And once you're finished with your changes, you just want to click save. And another tip when uploading your videos through the bulk importer, you want to make sure that you're naming the video files, whatever the topic or the category is going to be, because this will save you a lot of time when you're uploading your videos, because Thinkific will grab whatever title it is and put it into the title of that lesson. And in your video lesson, you can add a text if you like, and you can also add a PDF or any downloadable file that you would like to have. If you wanted to rearrange a lesson, then all you would have to do is click that lesson and you can move it to any chapter in which you would like it to be. And if you needed to add a lesson, you would click here. And as you can see, you'll have several different options of different types of content you can add to your online course. So if you wanted to do a quiz, a survey, an assignment, or even a live Zoom call, you can do so here. So let's say we wanted to do a quiz. We would just click the quiz button. And from here, we can change the name. And from here, you'll add the question in the question box and you would put the answers under the choices section. And once you're happy with your quiz, you just click save and that'll be added into your online course. And if you wanted to preview all of the changes that you're making, you want to click preview and you're going to click course as an enrolled student to see your online course from a student's perspective. And this is currently what your online course would look like. So as you can see, we've changed the color and we're using the dark theme. And if you scroll on the left hand side, you can see the chapters and the lessons in which you created in the Thinkific course player. And if for some reason, any of the course material that you created isn't showing up when you preview your course, you may have it in a draft. So all you have to do is unclick this and click save. And from here, everything that's in a draft will be now live on the online course. And if you preview again, you'll be able to see the introduction and the quiz in which we just created would show up now on the course player. And you're just going to want to continue to repeat the process for all your chapters and all your lessons, uploading your videos, creating your assessments, and making sure that everything you need to be included in your online course is there. And once you're finished uploading all of your lessons and you're happy with your online course, you're going to want to head over to settings. And under settings, you can change the course name, the course URL, the course image, and the description of the online course. Here, you can also choose if you want to go with the light theme or the dark theme. And this is what the course would look like with the light theme. And this is what it would look like with the dark theme. So whatever preference you have, you can choose that right within the settings of the online course that you just created. We're going to go ahead with the dark theme because personally, I think that one looks a lot better. 
And once you're finished customizing your course player, you want to head over to pricing. And from here, you'll be able to set the price in which you want to sell your online course. And just note that you need to set up your Stripe and PayPal before you can put a price on your course. Once you've set the price for your online course, you want to go ahead and publish the course. Of course, if you're not completely comfortable with publishing the course, you don't have to right away. But in this section, you can save the course as a draft or you can make it a pre-order in which customers would be able to pay for the course but won't have access until a later date. Or you can publish the course right away and students can enroll and access your course materials immediately. And as you can see, we went from not even having a Thinkific account to building a fully functioning and ready to sell online course. And that's not because I'm some sort of technical wizard. It's because Thinkific's platform is so user friendly and easy to use that anyone can get their online course, their coaching program, or their membership site up and running in literally a matter of minutes. And also for completely free because of how powerful Thinkific's free plan is. And that's why Thinkific is the number one online course platform for beginners, or established creators. If you haven't tried out Thinkific as yet, then we highly recommend that you do. We'll leave a link below this video in which you can try Thinkific for completely free. We hope that you enjoyed this video and that you're one step closer to creating and selling your online course on Thinkific. Thinkific is the number one online course platform and you can get started today and build your online course, coaching program, or membership site for completely free. If you guys enjoyed this video, then we ask that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tips on how to build and create online courses.